Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a big round of applause for Ben Dutton and Nigel Bowen? Right then, Rich Lovely tells me this fight is both of your debuts. So Ben, I'll start with you. Tell everybody a little bit about you and where you're training at the moment. Basically, uh, yeah, training hard. Uh, only, Quiet, uh, please. Only professional amateur boxing club, Spartan Heat. Um, getting some lovely training over there, putting in nice rounds and sparring. Um, yeah, just doing all I can. Sort of inside the gym, I'm doing my own stuff outside the gym. And um, yeah, just training hard. How long have you been training for in boxing? Uh, a few years ago, I sort of done a bit when I was a lot younger, and then um, there was a big bit of a layoff. The sort of thing is hard to find clubs and stuff. And then um, for the sort of the last year, I've been training under Alec, and then um, basically getting back into it, enjoying it. And then um, heard about tank promotion. Rick's been floating in and out of the club. Uh, my friend over there, Tom Coble, had a fight in October, so he just sort of gave me the fire to go again and um, just start up and basically take the fight. Let's take. Let's talk about your opponent. Obviously, Nigel's also a debut boxer as well. How does that change your preparation, obviously not knowing about what sort of his style is? Uh, it doesn't really change anything to be honest, I just sort of stay on your toes a bit. Um, just train, sort of not delusional boxing to boxing, but um, I see it, just train as hard as I can really. I don't think of anything else, I don't try to pick styles or nothing like that, we just do the work at the gym and it will pay off on the night and that's all we go for. So. And Nigel, I'll just come over to you, tell us a little bit about you and where you're training at the moment. Um, training with um, the Arena Boys down the bottom there. Uh, been training for about what, six months, probably a bit more, but not as frequent. Uh, yeah, it's a bit nervous though, with all the crowd and everything, but I just want to get in there, give it my all, and, yeah, get it done. So tell us about how your training's going and what's your desire for getting in the ring? A lot of fitness and conditioning, taking a lot of hits and stuff, learning like positioning. Yeah, a lot of basics, but yeah, it's progressing through all of it. Just try and get as much as I can and just add on. Obviously, he's a debut fighter as well. So, what are your coaches telling you to prepare for when you don't really know too much about your opponent? A bit of everything, like his movement. And that's why we're trying to do more of my movement. Like he could be quick, bouncing around. He could be up in the face. Like, yeah, it's just be ready for anything. Obviously, you're excited to get in the ring on the 25th of February. What's your last message to your opponent ahead of that fight? Oh, good luck to him. And yeah, I hope he gets what he wants out of there. Same here. And yeah, just so progress on after that. And Ben, same to you. What's your last message for Nigel? Uh, yeah, just good luck again. Hope you're training. And uh, I think we'll just see what happens on the 25th. Big round of applause to both of you. It's easy when you find